All right, we back. I think we live. All right. Let me go ahead. Turn me all the way up. All right, cool. All right, what's going on, y'all? It's Cameron McCullough, a.k.a. Master Teacher of Attraction, if you watch me on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? But uh, check it out, right? I felt the need to put this out there if you drink. Okay. Because a lot of people don't know about alcohol. It's not just a substance that you drink, you feel good, and you know, <clears throat> you go to a club, you go pop bottles uh, with your boys or with your girls and go have a good time. It's, it's more than something that you use to put your ass to sleep after a bad day at work or just working. You know what I'm saying? It's more than a stress reliever. This is the worst form of stress relief that you can have. Okay. So, I'm about to uh, let old girl get into why... You know, alcohol fucks with your spirit. Okay? And basically why it's called spirits. Okay, go ahead and roll. If y'all ever on YouTube, this is the name of her channel. So go ahead and subscribe to her because she also puts out a lot more stuff. That's like very helpful. So y'all go ahead and check it out. Although it is mass produced, mass promoted, legal, and ingested by a multitude. That's everything that black people drink. Shit. Am I lying? Of people all over I know the world. I ain't lying. Most people don't ever consider or understand the spiritual consequences of drinking alcohol. Let's begin by taking a look at the etymology of the word alcohol. Etymology means the root of the word. And before she get into it, this is one of the many things that society and some people call it the matrix, uh, whatever you call it. This is the type of shit that they push to distract you from yourself. Like your kingdom with inside yourself that you're supposed to pay attention to and you're supposed to obey to. You know what I'm saying? They use shit like alcohol. And she's going to get into what alcohol does to your spirit and what it allows inside of you. Okay, but this is the type. This shit, entertainment, the Grammys, they just had the Oscars on last night with old boy wearing a dress. Trying to put out a, a message out to the little kids so they can grow up and feel like their gender is all jacked up. So they want to go to the other side. They want to move to the dark side. You know what I'm saying? This is the type of shit that they put out there. This is the type of shit that fucks with people's families. Some of y'all might have family members that might be using alcohol on the daily. Like using alcohol, like drink the whole damn bottle and go to sleep snoring. Doing that type of shit every day. Now, it's not just a Friday thing. This is every day. You know what I'm saying? So, this is why this is out here. Roll that footage. Where does its origins begin? The word alcohol comes from the Arabic alcohol, which means body eating spirit and gives root origins. Wow. Look at that. You see that, right? That's the etymology of alcohol and what it means body eating spirit you think alcohol is helping your ass you think it's relieving your stress nigga it just knocks you the fuck out so you don't feel whatever is causing your stress or what's causing your pain that's why the fuck you think it's stress relieving nigga if you need to go relieve some stress go Work out or something. Go eat some fruit. Go find a you know a, a, um, a good partner to be intimate with. 
Those are good positive things to relieve your stress with. You know what I'm saying? Not no damn alcohol. Come on. Come on. Look, chick, let me tell you something. I've been through all high school, all college. It wasn't one motherfucker who can get me to drink something or smoke something. And I think that's I think the main reason is because I'm a Pisces. And my uh my lunar moon is in Aquarius. So I don't allow outside sources to I don't I didn't even know what peer pressure was. I be seeing other kids be getting pulled into shit thinking that something's cool. I never thought that shit was cool. And I already knew what it don't do no good for me. And I always like play basketball, so I had to keep my body in top shape to do basketball. So what the fuck I look like trying to look cool, smoking, uh, uh drinking. You know what I'm saying? This is what this shit is. This is where they pull the words from. They just don't come up with these words like the kids doing nowadays. Words like alcohol, they get this shit from, you know, ancient times and then make the shit sound cute for y'all now. That's how this works. You know what I'm saying? Roll the footage. To the English term for ghoul. In Middle Eastern folklore, a ghoul is an evil demon thought to eat. See? Ghoul. Evil spirit or phantom, especially one supposed to rob, rob graves and feed on dead bodies. That's why it leaves your body dead after you drink it. That's why you don't feel the stress no more. You see what I'm saying? Human bodies, either as stolen corpses or as children. By consuming alcohol into the body, it in effect extracts the very essence of the soul, allowing the body to be more susceptible to neighboring entities, most of which are of low frequencies. Why do you Did you just hear that shit? This is why people are getting raped. They put this shit out here. They legalize it when it ain't good for you, but they legalize the shit. They allow it into the hands of the wrong people and then a situation leads to another and then this is how people get raped. This is how just stupid shit happens. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that's the same thing when it happened with R. Kelly. You know, that's a whole different situation. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just speaking in general, nigga. This alcohol shit y'all doing. I, like... What what I want to know what made you even think about putting alcohol down your motherfucking guzzle. Let me tell you something. I cannot do alcohol. My body is allergic to it. I tried to drink Patron one time. And the niggas who made me do it know who they are. Well, they didn't make me do it, you know. I just want to see why niggas be on this shit so much. And they be promoting this shit. They always say, oh, we finna pop bottles. So I said, what's, what's, the, what's the hardest one y'all got? Nigga said Patron. Okay, let me try that Patron. So they gave me a shot. My nigga all to the right, he, he had drunk it with the lime and everything. I guess the lime was the chaser and everything. Like, y'all motherfuckers be making all these words and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I go... And do it. And you know. Drunk it all in one shot. So I tried to do the same thing. I couldn't even take it. I took a little sip. I ran all the way across the. Uh, the bar area. To the other side. Fell into the seat. The bartender had to jump over across. Um, the uh, the thing that they served the alcohol at. She had to jump over that. And asked me was I okay. My body cannot do this shit. I'm telling y'all, this alcohol, this is what y'all niggas do. Y'all need to stop this. I'm telling you, man. This substance right here, especially with black people, it fucks up your fa the family unit. 
It make it make niggas say some of the craziest things. And the crazy thing is, it ain't even you. You may say something to a family member and you really hurt their feelings and you don't remember you saying that. Nigga, that's cause it wasn't you. Your spirit left you when you started drinking this shit. And when you drink it every day like that, what you think that's doing to you? See, if you're doing something like alcohol, you need to just replace this shit with something else. One of the three things that I told you earlier. Jim, eat some damn fruit or get your carbs up because a lot of y'all be low carbon and shit. And find a good partner to get intimate with. Because a lot of y'all, y'all, some of y'all just need... Some of y'all just need sex. That's just what it is. But not like that. That that. Well, that's a different video. I gotta say that for you. I don't even think that's for YouTube. I'm probably gonna have to put that in some paid course or something. But look, look, check it out. That's what y'all need. If you going after this shit, this shit ain't helping you, man. I think we call certain alcoholic beverages spirits. That is why people who consume excessive amounts of alcohol often black out, not remembering what happened. This happens when the good soul we were sent here with leaves because the living conditions are too polluted and too traumatic to tolerate. The good soul jettisons the body, staying connected to a tether, and a dark entity takes the body for a joy right around the block. So, basically, alcohol... When you drink the alcohol, your body becomes very toxic. Then your, your actual spirit within you leaves. And then what do you think that's leaving your body vulnerable to? Other spirits. Now, I don't care if you don't believe in this shit. Nigga, if you believe in... in a white man called Jesus, I'm pretty sure you can believe in this too. Okay? But this is ha this happens. Like, you can see it for your damn self. When a nigga drink, they get fucked up. It's not them. You know how they act when they're sober. When they start drinking, something takes over them. They start saying shit that ain't, ain't them. I even had, I went, I'm going to say that for you too. Often in a hedonistic and self-serving illogical rampage, our bodies are cars for spirits. If one leaves, another can take the car for a ride. Essentially, when someone goes dark after drinking alcohol or polluting themselves in many other ways, their body often becomes possessed by another entity. I became aware of this phenomenon years mm -hmm. ago when I was given a spiritual vision. Mm -hmm. In this vision, I was transported as an observer above a popular bar. Above the venue, there was a variety. And you may have a hard time catching on to this. If uh, the people that might have the easiest time catching on to what I'm saying is probably uh, your water signs. Things like Pisces, Scorpio, uh, things like that of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all probably just ain't gonna be able to fathom this, but you still gonna you still gonna drink. It's just like when a nigga tell me, I don't need no fruits, no vegetables. <laughs> I can just do if it fits your macros with pop tarts and shit, and I'm gonna be healthy if I work out. You know. You got them type of niggas, and then you got the niggas who already know what's good for the body. Your fruits and your damn vegetables and shit. You know what I'm saying? A girl like entities inside the bar where people drinking alcohol, socializing, dancing, and so on. I watched as certain people became very drunk. I saw their souls, while connected through a thread, exited the body. I understood that the soul was leaving the body because right of the there. great discomfort of being in a body highly intoxicated with alcohol. 
when the soul exited the body, other, non-benevolent entities, entered, or latched on, to their vacant shells. Once the entities took hold of the body, they've used the body, to play out, all kinds of dark acts, such as violence, low-level sexual encounters, destructive behaviors, rape. And this is what a lot of y'all doing. I can't make this shit up. And more. Years later, while reading a book called Man's Eternal Quest by Paramahansa Yogananda, this spiritual master clearly explained the exact same thing as I was shown in the vision. I began to look back over my life and remember situations where I saw dark spirits hanging around people who had become very drunk. Let me elaborate a bit. When I say I saw these entities, I have had the ability of clairvoyance, the ability to perceive things beyond the natural range of the senses, which can include extrasensory perception, sixth sense, psychic powers, second sight. And usually these are your people that have uh, senses that may, be, may not be as sharp as other people. So say for instance, uh, your eyes, like my eyes, if, if I go to the eye doctor, he'll do all types of tests on my eyes and everything. I may not be able to see the sharpest um, or have the sharpest eyes or have 20-20, but they're healthy. You know what I'm saying? But they're not my strongest sense. It's like a, you have a different sixth sense or something that uh, that takes over and... That's just what you use instead of your eyes. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way I can explain it. Because, you know, I had these eyes all my life. And ain't not one pair of glasses or contacts ever helped me. You know what I'm saying? So, when she, she's, she's telling the truth is what I'm saying. Telepathy and more. I also had the ability of clairaudience, the ability to perceive sounds or words from outside sources in the spirit world, and the experience of being a spiritual intuitive and empath since childhood. I have the ability to see energies and spiritual manifestations that most people don't see. As I looked back over my life, I could remember many incidents of encountering non-benevolent spirits in the presence of intoxicated individuals. I also have had experiences of looking into the eyes of a few people who were surely possessed by dark energies that were not their own. I also remember yeah, a psychology course. In part of this course, we studied advertising and the effects on humans. We looked at the advertising for alcohol, a mask. Look at what he got in the picture. Look at what he got around him. Alcohol and cigarettes. Smoke and drink. The teacher of this subject illuminated the fact that most alcohol advertisements are embedded with hidden messages and images not typically perceivable to the common sight yet perceived through this. These advertisements could be radio um social media ads television ads billboard ads things that's always in your field of vision and then once you see it you're seeing it actively with your conscious mind and then it starts to hit your subconscious mind which is the the basically the part of your conscious mind that it doesn't really judge anything, but if you feed it enough repetitions of the same thing with the right messages, like what they got going on right here and which, with what you're seeing, it's going to make you uh, do certain actions, okay? It's going to lead you to doing certain things, okay? So they already know this. So this is why they put this in the advertisements, and they put it out multiple times a day. To get you to take certain actions and buy they shit. You see what I'm saying? Subconscious. Knowing how powerful the subconscious is in our decision making, 
feelings, reactions, beliefs, the slick sales teams of alcohol, as well as tobacco and other products. Juicy Jim. The sinister technique. This is another reason why it's important to not be so led emotionally. Especially irrational, emotional uh, decision making. In actions. You know what I'm saying? Because most of the time, it's probably not even your emotions. It's just uh, a reaction to something that made you feel a certain type of way. You know what I'm saying? To trick us into buying their products and joining the societal cult of mental apathy and cultural obedience. Many of these hidden messages and images were extremely sexual, working to influence some of the basis urges and primal nature of humans. Let this example bring you to a place of curiosity and questioning. Why have the marketing teams felt the need to trick us and coerce us through subliminal messages to buy products that are harmful to the human body and to our own souls? How many times have you, or someone you know, after becoming quite intoxicated with alcohol, behaved in a manner this. uncommon to them? This is what they give y'all. This is what they give y'all. They put it in the music. They give it in they this is what they do. They put it in the music, and the music is tailored towards your children. So your children grow up. Thinking this shit is cool, so they try it in high school. And then once they try it in high school, they get hooked on it. And then once they get hooked on it, their hormones start changing. They start eating wrong. They start to experience negative situations in their, in their life and everything. Things like rape. Things like just, 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 just a bad situation in their life. And then they start questioning the sexuality and then... They, they just get led all over the place with all these agendas, but they need to put this type of shit in you to get you to those places that they want you to get to through their agendas. Cocaine, smoking on gin and juice, popping pills, Xanax, needles. This shit don't come from nature. Tell me the last time you seen a gorilla shoot up something in his arm. Tell me the last time you seen a lion snort some coke. Tell me the last time you seen a whale popping pills. Tell me the last time you seen a koala bear smoking a cigarette. Tell me the last time you seen a kangaroo drinking on gin and juice. Perhaps you experienced the changing of voice, violence, sexual promiscuity, ingesting of harmful substances. And when she says sexual promiscuity, you're doing all types of sexual acts with people you know you ain't good for you, ain't good for you. This is what you niggas do. Dealing with people you know you ain't got no business dealing with. And then you start spreading all these STDs and everything. Because since you fucking with these drugs and everything. Your immune system ain't up to par to deal with anything. So you start manifesting all these STDs and everything. And then you go to the clinic to get checked out. And then they use tests. That ain't always 100%. It's always hit or miss. They going off the antigens that's produced within the body to the uh, the foreign substance. Which is called an antigen. Okay? So, that's how they getting y'all on these medications and keeping y'all in fear of shit. Because y'all don't know shit. So, they tell y'all anything. And you will believe it. Direction to property, conflictual behavior, and other negative expressions. Consider these experiences. And let me say something else. 
Don't call me woke. I'm not woke. Don't don't label me as anything. I'm just telling you what is. Okay? I'm telling you what is. Plus, I don't act like a woke nigga anyway. Ask yourself, is this the manifestation of light, love, and positivity? Do these occurrences represent a path of consciousness and health? It is unknown by many that ingesting alcohol depresses the nervous system, kills brain cells, is toxic to the liver, weakens the immune system, and has many other harm. Some of y'all be doing this shit in front of your family. You be literally smoking in a house and got no windows open in front of your kids. And you drink in front of them. And see, this is the thing that you don't know. Children pay attention to what you do and they're going to imitate what you do. They're going to imitate what you say. That's how children learn. They learn and monkey see, monkey do. So if you're drinking, if you're cursing, if you know, if you don't want them to curse, you know what I'm saying? If you're cursing, if you're smoking, if you're drinking, what do you think they're going to do when somebody comes up to them in high school saying, hey, you want to be cool? Let's go smoke some weed in the bathroom. What do you think they're going to do? You think they're going to say no because you you ain't raised your child like that? You ain't got to raise them to be like that. All they have to do is see you doing it. Consequences. Drinking alcohol while pregnant can lead to birth defects, mental retardation, and deformities in the developing fetus. Oh Yet my still, goodness. it is mass promoted and supported by our mainstream culture. Have you ever considered that alcohol? And this is why y'all need to stop looking up to people that's in the mainstream. Stop looking up to these actors. Stop looking up to these rappers. Stop looking up to these basketball players. Stop looking up to them. They ain't teaching y'all shit. What they promoting. And that tells you what they teaching you. is a slick tool of the supporters of the matrix global mind control and oppression program mm -hmm. to keep people on a path of disempowerment and sickness mm -hmm. we have to ask why is alcohol legal throughout most of the world mm -hmm. yet in many countries and specifically the united states mm -hmm. psychedelics are illegal the conscious and safe use of psychedelics or visionary medicines are known to assist in mind expansion to initiate associate spiritual experiences where people have communed with the divine, healed numerous physical and spiritual ailments, increase intelligence, help to repattern the brain in a positive way, assist people in aligning with their soul's purpose, and have inspired many people to create great works of art and other innovative creations. It seems that these substances would definitely... You can do that same stuff by eating more fruit, too, as well. Just putting that out there. Y'all niggas ain't... Because most of y'all, when y'all get weed, y'all not getting the, the good stuff. Okay, y'all not getting the good stuff. You want all the chemicals that it... You know, the natural... Uh, chemicals that it come with in nature. They take out the good stuff and leave the bad stuff in when they bring it over here to y'all hood and try to sell you a dime bag, a nickel bag, whatever y'all, whatever y'all doing. Definitely be banned and discouraged if there truly is an agenda seeking to oppress the human potential and keep us in the dark regarding who we are as spiritual beings, our innate potential, and the path to empowerment. If one were to dig deeper, as a true scientist or a researcher of truth, you will also discover these interesting facts. Dr. Rachel Hager, an accomplished modern-day editor, author, and medical advisor, while researching an article on alcohol for her online medical journal, found additional meanings in ancient Arabic texts. Alcohol, genie or spirit, 
that takes on varied shapes or a supernatural creature in Arabic mythology. Alcohol, any drug or substance that takes away the mind or cover. Some of y'all children be coming out looking like this. I mean, like y'all should be ashamed of yourself. The word alcohol is also linked to the fixed star in astronomy known as Algol, also known as the demon's head. The current Arabic name for alcohol is Algol, properly meaning spirit or demon. It is not a coincidence that alcohol has often been referred to as spirits. There is a deep history. If you go to Jules Oscos, right, and yeah, I said that, Jules Oscos, and you look off to, it's usually off to the left side of the Jules Oscos, you're going to see wine and spirits. I can't make this shit up. This is what I see. They put this shit out there in front of y'all, and is they, they think y'all stupid because y'all don't pick up on this shit. I, I saw that shit coming from a mile away, so I ain't never did it. Behind this intoxicating substance, there are layers of information throughout our culture. Smoking on juice and gin. we have to look below the surface of things to find the fullness of truth. I advise you to deeply consider the information shared here. Look at the effects of alcohol in your life, in the lives of the people you know. And look, she trying to be nice with it. I would advise you to... No, nigga, look. You better think before the next time you pick up a bottle of wine, or a bottle of alcohol, some juice and gin, some cigarettes... You know what I'm saying? This is what it's doing to you. Nigga, don't come on my page talking about you eat raw vegan, but you still smoking. You eat f meat with no fat on there, 97% lean ground turkey, but you still smoking. And you still drinking every day. Don't come, don't come around me with that bullshit because you still playing. You still playing down here. You're not up here. So when you get to talking, you sound like a child. So if you still think about picking up something like this and literally putting that into your being, just remember what you just sunk down to. And nigga, we up here. And in society at large. That's all you. She gonna tell you nice. I'm gonna tell you straight up. Decisions. The more people who awaken to truth and seek health and liberation from the mind controlling agendas, the more likely we are to make positive changes and co-create a world we feel good about living in. As we strive to heal, awaken, and transform our world, I pray that we wise up to the dirty trick played upon humanity in regards to alcohol. Non-benevolent forces have wanted to keep us oppressed, disempowered, and asleep. How many of us have seen families broken and souls lost because of alcohol? Do you think it makes us smarter or healthier or overall better people? It's time to change things. Let's stand behind replacing the rampant abuse of alcohol with more health-enhancing practices and activities and learn how to live awakened and empowered lives. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe for new videos every day. So y'all go ahead. That's the information right there. The name of her channel is Universe Inside You. Subscribe now. Go check out his shit. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate the content to help uh, explain this. But listen, man. This is what alcohol does to you. It ain't what you think is going to do to you. I don't care what fantasy you're going to tell yourself that it does to you. To allow you to keep doing what you're doing. But 
This is what it's doing to you. This is what it's allowing into your being. So look, you're going to do whatever you're going to do. I'm not going to be watching over you. But you know the information that you need to know. So if you continue to want to do this, don't come to don't come for my emotional support. It ain't no blood is sticking in water when you start allowing other spirits to come into you. That isn't you. You see what I'm saying? So that's just the facts. Y'all don't forget to subscribe to it. See? That's how you subscribe to it. Alright. We out.